Hello there everyone welcome back to the new video so when we talk about the genesis block in the blockchain it's a block uh, which is required for the bootstrapping the network what exactly it contain so what we are going to do in this video we will convert that genesis block into the json and see the content of that genesis block as well as the my channel dot transaction block my channel dot block let's jump into the vs code yeah so uh, i will be running some command on the terminal uh, currently i am in the main repo that is a basic network 2.0 uh, let's go into the artifacts channels where genesis block is there ls you can see here genesis dot block is there genesis dot block let's convert into the json format config txgen inspect inspect block genesis block this command will convert that genesis dot block into the json format yeah so we have just converted the block into the json format so first of all we'll copy these blocks and paste into the vs code so that we can see in a proper way uh, this is the first one second one is the channel dot transaction blocks that is also we are going to i have, I have already copied uh, the genesis block let's copy uh, let's convert that my channel dot blog as well so it is available in the main for uh, home repository channel artifacts ls yeah my channel dot blog is there again run the same command config tx gn inspect blog and my channel dot blog or oh, some config yeah so again i have already copied this as well let's jump into the vs code and check these blocks so i have created in on home repository i have created a blocks uh, blocks folder inside that i kept decoded blocks in a form of json first one is the channel dot json let's see channel dot json block so it's almost having 1000 lines of code in form of json let's see so first when uh, first one is the data inside date uh, there are multiple objects data header and metadata in header we have a data hash of the current block number previous hash we don't have right now that is the channel dot block that is the first block and uh, let's jump into the data so inside data payload signature data config channel group yeah so coming from here from line number nine so each group will have these four folder structure of the hierarchy groups modification policies policies values and versions okay this kind of information it will have throughout all the groups let's jump into one by one first one is the group second one is the mod policy let's see what are the different policies defined for this group these are the different policy admin reader writer let's check one this is the admin policy and inside the admin policy again we have the same hierarchy more policy policy and the version so inside the policy this policy is type of, type of three in hyperledger fabric there are two type of the policies first one is the signature policy second one is the implicit meta policy so type 3 policies are the implicit meta policy and the type 1 are the signature policies so type 1 policy that is the signature policy are more flexible than the implicit meta policy yeah so we have uh, here we have seen that poly different policy defined in the blog uh, jump let's jump into the groups again so here we have two groups first one is the application group second is the order group so inside the application group there would be a different organizations we can see here in application on and in orderer in both cases we have the same hierarchy group more policies policies values and version let's jump into the group again uh, these policies would be applicable for the application level for the all the organizations here we can see 
admin endorsement life cycle endorsement reader writer these are the different policies defined let's see any one of them admin again admin have more policy in policies type 3 uh, it's having type 3 policies that is the implicit meta policy and the policy is the majority of admin let's go to the group here we can see organization one and these are the organization level policy again we have four same folders and in organization level we can see in the policies we have admin and let's see one of the admin policy here and this organization level we have type one policy that is the signature meta uh, signature policy and we have value by default organization one msp and that is the role admin in this way we can explore each and every content of the this blocks genesis block and this channel block again we can i can show you more more things rules in out of rules in out of one uh, one policy is required here these are the endorsements and we can see the values here msp values configuration and these are the different inside the msp we will see we can see here admin crypto config fabric node organization units here would be uh, we will have four organization units that is admin client peer and we will have the certificates of the that particular uh, organization ad, uh, i mean organization unit that is we use here you can see we identifier for client it's a client for orderer it's orderer for peer it's a peer you can see crypto config when you open the crypto config uh, here is the information about the algorithm root certificate here we can see root uh, root certificate uh, here we will have a review question list you can see at line number 195 if we have revoked any certificate that will be available here and in this way we can explore all these things uh, in the genesis blocks i mean channel block and the genesis block so both blocks i have kept inside the block folder and when uh, actually we will have a separate video on the policies where we will jump into the signature policy and the implicit meta policy probably at that time uh, we will deep dive into these policy sections that's it for this video in case if you are facing is any issue just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you are enjoying this video like this video and subscribe the channel stay tuned for the more update